Hello and welcome to our Sunrise Yoga Flow to begin your morning perfectly. We're going to begin today kneeling at the base of our mat. On your next inhale, I want you to sweep your arms up above your head, place the palms together, look up. Exhale, bring your hands over to heart center in a prayer position. Let's repeat that again. Inhale, reach the arms up, stretch out the chest, hands together, exhale, over to the heart center. Twice more, inhale, arms up towards the sky, reach as far as you can, exhale, hands over heart. Once more, inhale, arms up, exhale, hands over heart center. Just take a few deep breaths here, keep your hands where they are, in through the nose and out through the mouth, just center yourself, close your eyes, find presence. Begin to open your eyes and on your next inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we're going to fold down into child's pose. Forehead comes down to the mat. Reach those fingertips along the mat, elongate through the spine, stretch out the shoulder blades. Again, take a few breaths here in through the nose and out through the mouth. Find a moment of relaxation before we begin the flow. Slowly bring your forehead up off the mat and when you're ready on your inhale we're going to rise up into tabletop just lower the hips towards the mat upward facing dog. Exhale push back come back into our child's pose. Inhale round through the spine lift the thighs off the mat if you can upward facing dog. Exhale push back child's pose. Twice more inhale round forward thighs off the mat upward facing dog. Exhale, push back, release the knees back down. Child's pose. Once more, inhale, round forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, drop the knees, push back, child's pose. Just hold here for a moment, center yourself again, and then inhale, come forward, just come into cobra pose, so keep your hips and your thighs on the mat. You can come down into baby cobra if you'd like, Bring the bottom of your ribs down to the mat, squeeze the shoulder blades, or push up all the way into full cobra, making sure that your wrists are slightly off center to the shoulders. Maybe you'd like to just move your shoulders just to find some mobility. On your next exhale, we're gonna lower the chest down towards the mat, tuck the toes under, push up into plank, and then we're gonna push the tailbone back, downward facing dog. Hold here for a moment, maybe walk out the dog just to find some mobility in the hamstrings. Then inhale, we're going to come forward into plank. When you're ready, we're going to exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, untuck the toes, thighs off the mat. Hold for a breath. Then we're just going to drop the right hip down to the mat, look over the left shoulder, twist out the spine. Come back to center and repeat on the other side. Look over the right shoulder. Twist out the spine again. Work those obliques. Come back to center, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Again, we're just gonna hold for a few breaths here. Walk out the dog. Find that mobility. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross the left leg over top of the right, staying on the left ball of the foot. This is a really deep stretch for that right hamstring, so just hold for a few breaths. Really try and push that right heel to the mat. Then step back to center, round forward into plank and step that left foot in between the hands, drop the right knee, come down into low lunge. You can lift your arms up towards the sky or place your hands on your front knee just to stretch out that right hip flexor. Hold for a few breaths, really try and open up through the chest, open up that psoas. Place your hands surrounding the foot now, and as we exhale, we're going to push our hips back, coming into half split Ardha Hanumanasana. You can just relax the forehead towards the knee, really try and push the belly towards the thigh. Keep your hips nice and square to the top of the mat. Feel this in the left hamstring, it's a really deep stretch. You can flex the foot or maybe even point the toes just to alleviate any pressure on the knee. 
Hold for one more deep inhale and exhale, push forward into our low lunge. Place the hands firmly onto the mat, hold for a breath. Then tuck the back toes under, lift off the back knees, step into plank. Then we're just going to take our chaturanga, take our vinyasa up to upward facing dog. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Let's repeat that on the other side. So when you're ready, we're going to cross the right foot this time over the left. Stay on the right ball of the foot, but push the left heel in towards the mat. Really feel that deep stretch in the left hamstring. Hold for a breath. Then we're going to step back to center, hold, and then come forward into our low lunge, right foot forward, drop the left knee, untuck the back toes. Make sure the front knee is directly over the ankle, we don't want any shin splints. Place your hands onto the front knee or even take them up to the sky, open up through the chest. Hold for a few breaths, really opening the left psoas and the right hip flexor. Now place your hands down to the mat, exhale, push those hips back, straighten out that right leg, stretch out that right hamstring, Ardha Hanumanasana. Keep those hips nice and square, fold over that leg nose to knee if you can. Really try and keep the spine nice and long, not rounding through the upper back. Take a few deep breaths here, going really deep into the back of the leg. When you're ready, look forward and we're gonna push into that front leg, low lunge. Hands down to the mat, tuck the back toes under. Step into plank. Option for one legged chaturanga or regular. Inhale, upward facing dog, hold for a breath. Exhale, push the tailbone back, downward facing dog. Hold for a breath here. And then when you're ready on your exhale, we're gonna jump through our arms, landing in a seated posture at the top of our mat. When you meet me here, we're going to place the soles of the feet together, knees apart, coming into butterfly. We're just going to hold here, keeping our spine nice and tall. Or if you'd like, you can place your hands onto the feet and lean slightly forward, coming into a butterfly fold. This is really amazing for the hips and inner thighs. So just hold for a few deep breaths, really getting in deep into the hips. As we rise out of our butterfly, lift the arms to the sky, stretch out the chest. On our exhale, we're going to twist round over to the left, right hand to left knee, left arm behind you, look over that left shoulder. Hold for deep breath, twisting out the spine. Inhale back to center, arms to the sky again. Twist round over to the right, look behind you. Really twist from the belly button, this is great for digestion. Hold for breath. And then we're going to come back round to centre. Place both hands behind you, fingertips pointing away. Just going to push into those hands, lift up through the chest, throw your head back. Really take a nice throat opening and chest opening here. Hold for a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Then return back to our regular butterfly pose. Shake out the shoulders a bit, and then we're just gonna scoop back, extend the legs, flex the feet. Inhale, arms up, come into staff pose. Exhale, fold, reaching for those feet, or even place the hands underneath the knees. Take a nice seated forward fold, aiming to get your forehead down towards the knees. Hold for a few deep breaths. Feel that nice deep hamstring stretch.
On your next inhale, rise back up to a seated posture. Place your hands behind you. We're just gonna scoot the hips forward. And as we exhale, we're gonna recline down to the mat very slowly. Use that core to, for your balance. Tuck the knees in towards the chest and we're just gonna hug the knees in. Really take a nice deep hip opening in this wind relieving pose. Hold for a few deep breaths, close your eyes and go inward. Focus on your breathing throughout the rest of the flow. When you're ready, we're gonna cross the left leg over top of the right, left heel to right knee. Then we're just gonna push with that left foot, the right knee over to the left side. This is a really deep twist for the spine. Look over towards the right if you can. Hold for a few deep breaths, really getting into the IT band here. Come back up to center, hug the knees in towards the chest yet again. Hold for a few breaths. Stretch out the spine, decompress the discs. And then when you're ready, we're gonna repeat on the other side. Crossing over onto the other side this time, over towards the right side, gazes over towards the left. Hold for a few deep breaths yet again. Twist from the belly button to really activate that digestive system. Coming back to center, hug the knees in towards the chest for a second. Then relax the head down and lift the legs up towards the sky. Straighten and flex through the feet, pushing through the heels. Really taking a nice deep stretch for the back of the legs, particularly the hamstrings and the calves. Maybe give them a nice deep massage while you're here. Then when you're ready, we're gonna reach for the outside of that left foot, pull the left knee towards the mat, drop the right foot towards the mat. Maybe even straighten that right leg, taking a half happy baby pose. You can maybe extend that left leg and then pull the heel towards the mat as much as you can. Or you can just stay static, finding that nice deep hip opening. Then come back to center and we're gonna repeat on the other side. Extend the legs for a moment, massage the back. Then we're gonna come over to that right leg, drop the left leg towards the mat, maybe even straighten if you can. Hold for a few deep breaths. You can find that mobility, straighten and then bend. Or you can just stay static for a moment. Pull that knee as much as you can down to really feel that hip and inner thigh opening. Take one more deep inhale and exhale. Then we're gonna straighten the legs back up towards the sky when you're ready. Inhale, reach them up. Massage the back of the legs for a second, and then exhale, we're gonna lower the legs towards the mat, come up into a crunch, just hover the legs for a second, really engage the core for a moment, and then relax all the way down, arms down beside your body, palms facing towards the sky, close your eyes and settle into our final pose, our Shavasana. Take a few deep breaths in towards the rib cage, feel the rise and fall of the chest, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Open your eyes and slowly make your way onto your side. When you meet me here, bend your legs and we're just gonna come into the fetal position for a moment. Then when you're ready, we're just gonna come up into a normal seated easy pose in the center of our mat just to end the practice. When you meet me here, we're just gonna bow down to ourselves, hands over our heart center and just join me in saying namaste to end the practice. Namaste, my beautiful friends. Have a lovely rest of your day.